Hi guys, happy Sunday. It is literally Sunday today. I don't know when you guys are going to be watching this, but um, last week I decided that I wanted to cook. I wanted to make some rice and peas and some baked jerk chicken, just baked chicken with jerk seasoning on there so it literally tastes like jerk chicken. So I started the, the chicken and everything and I was doing the rice and peas, but the peas normally you're supposed to soak it from the night before or like you have to sink it a couple of times. And sinking it means that if you guys are not Jamaican or don't know how to cook rice and peas, sinking it means that you boil the peas in a small amount of water about three or four times, depending on how long it takes for the peas to get soft, right? But you have to test the peas each time the water dries out before you add more water to see if it's cooked and if you should like continue going along with the rest of the process. And I think I did it three times, but I forgot to test the peas to see if they were soft. So when I was done, the peas was hard. So this week I decided that I want to make it again because I'm a bit of a perfectionist and so I soaked the peas from last night and I have them cooking like the cooking is on your way. All right. And then we have some coconut powder here mixed it out in a bit of hot water. I have two inside of this container and that is just milk. Pretty much coconut milk. That is gonna go with my rice and peas. I'm really excited about this week's meal. I have some curry chicken that I'm like warming up to go along with that, but I'm also gonna make some chicken. So I'm trying to see if I wanna make some stewed chicken with like um, chunky potatoes or my mom always used to make that or I don't know what exactly I wanna do because I have some um, pieces of chicken that are not like chopped up small. They're like big, so like a thigh, pretty much thighs that I wanted to see. I seasoned them to bake them, but I don't know that I want to bake them anymore. So I'm wondering what I'm going to do because not for nothing last week. Last week, the baking process took quite a while. So I don't think I want to bake them this week, but I'm also not sure what exactly I'm going to do with them. It is 122 and I guess I still have a bit of time to figure it out, but I wanted to make sure that I perfect the rice and peas. So that's what's going on right now. I checked the peas early and they were soft, but I feel like they still needed another like bit of cooking. I have some fried plantains on the table because I made some breakfast and fried plantains were a part of the breakfast. When I eat my meals, I don't like to just taste one flavor. I like a little bit of sweet, a little bit of salty or whatever the case is. So I love the plantains to go along with that. I have my phone currently connected to the TV playing some music, which I obviously paused because you know, not how copyright works. So. I have it paused and everything, but today is pretty much just a vibe. I just posted a reel. Damn. But, um, today I'm pretty much vibing. I just posted a reel. I should go and light the candle inside of there and light this one inside here. I bought this electric lighter on Amazon and it literally is the best investment. The brand is Ronks, R-O-N-X-S. And you pretty much just push this to turn it on and you press the button and it's lighting. See, it's lighting. Oh, love that for me. So, I'm gonna light the little candle here. And it lights it pretty quickly, but not, see, it's a little light going on there to show you that it's on. But normally I will turn it off when I'm done because I don't want anything to accidentally press on it when I put it in this little tray here. And then, the apartment is burnt down. I love this apartment to death. <laughs> we can't have that. We cannot have that. And this fragrance that I'm burning inside here is hot buttered rum. I don't know what I feel like it smells like, but when Bath and Body Works were having their annual sale, I made sure that I stocked up on some of the things that are expensive. Throughout the year, Bath and Body Works normally have sales on like the, <clears throat> um, the, the body splashes and stuff like that. Their body splashes are very strong. Like you smell it all day when you have it on. So like that, I didn't stock up on as much, but the candles are always $24.99. Who wants to pay $20, $25 for a candle? Not me. So I bought some when they had them for $10.50 and $11. So I have about 10 underneath there, which I'm excited for. I have some hand soap underneath there because I find that. We have this little hand soap container inside of the bathroom and 
one time I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought like the refillable container of hand soap and uh, I just felt like the experience of washing my hands was very cheap. It wasn't soaping up, it wasn't sudding and even if I did put a lot on there it just was not sudding for anything and that didn't exactly work out for me. So I wanted to buy good things, you know? When I wash my hands with the hand soaps from Bath and Body Works you smell the soap on your hand and your hands also felt clean so I love that experience. Um, last night, I don't know why it is oddly satisfying for me to peel off the gel polish because when I was paying to get my nails done, I would not even touch it because I paid for this and this is going to stay on for a very long time. But last night I was sitting here picking off the gel polish and I chipped a part of, um, the nail right here on the corner. You guys probably can't even see it. Anyways, because I chipped a part of the nail on the corner, I'm going to have to fill that and repolish it. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow just to give myself something to do um, tomorrow. But um, yeah, I need to take care of that. Or maybe I want to take this nail off completely and do some little um, skinny nails that I have. Because the nail is short right now, it doesn't really look like anything. But on this hand, I've already replaced three of the nails. These nails are nails that have been on there since I got my nail done the last time, which was well, almost two months at this point. Yep. Or like two and a half months at this point. I think the last time was in... Let me get my phone. You're supposed to cook the peas before you put the rice. My... I already know that. Because the rice cook faster. Thanks for sharing. You have such a beautiful soul. Wow. If I was being a dickhead. We're not going to drag that. But what did I say I was checking? To see when the last time was that I actually went and paid to get my nails done. But this time I'm like, man, I can do my nails myself. The only thing is I didn't have a gel, I didn't have gel polishes and I also didn't have that machine that dries the polish quickly. And one thing I hate about doing my nails myself is when it's time for me to polish it, I have to sit forever for it to dry. So I ended up just buying one of the machines and I bought some gel polishes because I know that when I go pay them little ladies to do my nails, the gel polishes last forever and a day. And so I knew that that is what I essentially wanted to do because it lasts longer. So let's see when was the last time that I paid to get my nails done. I had French when I did it the last time. That is definitely going to be a little bit difficult for me to do by myself. I've done it before with the acrylic, but honestly, polishing it on is way easier. And I feel like next time I try to do that, I'm definitely going to polish it on. I literally just have so many pictures. All right, it's safe to say when I did my nails was sometime in November. And you see the date right now so that's a long ass time so um yeah i just decided that i'm gonna start doing them myself because i absolutely can so i started doing that i made sure that i have good products that it's you know it's gonna hold up so that's great and now here we are but um yeah i'm pretty much just chilling waiting for the goddamn peas to cook and then i can like cook the rice and stuff hi y'all i'm going to the gym also just fix this nail because it completely came off yesterday so i fixed that and we're about to head to the gym soon it's the attire and i'm waiting for mister to get here maybe i should set a reminder to go to the dollar tree afterwards hi y'all so at this point i should have been well on the way to the gym but i called mister and he expressed that he does not think he'll be coming home on the break that he has right now and so even though i'm dressed and ready and everything i'm not going to be going right now so I'm thinking maybe I should just do an at-home workout, like an indoor workout, maybe some abs or something like that because he did say that um, maybe we should go later on. Yesterday we didn't go because we ended up going to the laundromat. I think I did express that. And then when he did leave work, like neither of us felt like going. So we didn't go yesterday, but I really, really want to go today. So I don't mind us going later on. But I think I'm still going to do um, probably like a little ab workout, workout or something here because I'm already dressed and ready and I feel like I'm kind of in the mood right now. So I don't really want to let that go to waste, especially considering the fact that later on I don't know if I'm going to be in the mood to go. But it's not like I'm going and I'm like weightlifting or whatever. So should be perfectly fine if I go anyways. But um, we'll have to see. We will have to see, but I could definitely find something to do right now until until later on. But yeah, I just wanted to pop in and give you guys an update on that because I did come here and say that we are going to be going to the gym. 